section, we'll look at how to update software in the Grandma 2 range and also how to put your console into Series 1 compatibility mode. To update software on a Grandma 2 console or an NPU, you'll need to visit the MA website, malighting.com, and download both the MA2 software and a special program called StickMaker. The StickMaker program is available for both Mac and PC. You'll need to choose a blank USB stick that you'll want to dedicate to updating your console software as this process reformats your USB drive to a format specific to Grandma 2 hardware. This format is unrecognizable by either a Mac or a PC. Insert the USB drive into your computer and run the StickMaker program. Find the location of your USB stick. and then the location of the MA2 software that you've downloaded, and press Start. This will completely erase and reformat your USB stick to what is required by Grandma 2 to read the software. Once completed, you can click OK and remove the USB stick. You'll take that USB drive to your console or NPU. If you're upgrading an ultralight or NPU, be sure to have a USB keyboard plugged in before you start. Insert your USB stick and then power up the device. Shortly after power up, you will see a startup menu on the multi-touch screen on the console. This menu only appears briefly, so be prepared to press the down key on the keyboard once it appears so that the menu will remain. Select the option labeled Utility Menu and press Enter or Please. Once the menu has loaded, select Option 1, Import New Version. This will look for your USB stick and copy the software file to your hard disk. Should the console not find the USB stick immediately, you may choose to wait a moment and try again. After selecting your USB drive, select option 2, Choose Version. In the next menu, pick the version you wish to install and press Enter or Please. When this is complete, you may remove your USB stick and select option 9, Quit. Your console will now reboot. Choosing this version of upgrading will leave your show files intact. If you wish to erase all data from your hard disk on a console, then you will perform a full install. Also, a full install is required when upgrading software on NPUs. This is very important. The full install will delete all show files from your console, and this cannot be reversed. Be certain that you have backed up all show files externally before beginning a full install. You'll use the same USB stick to perform this full install. Again, connect this USB to the console or NPU before booting and then power on the console. Watch for the very first dialog to appear on the screen and look for the correct key on your keyboard to be used to take you to the boot options menu. On this console, we can see that the key is F11. Here's the same screen on an NPU where you can note that the key required here is escape. Once you've pressed that key, you'll be in the Boot Options menu. From here, you'll select the USB stick to boot from, and you will then be taken to the Installer menu. Locate this block of text at the bottom of the screen. Then use your keyboard's left arrow key to move the cursor between the equal sign and the word Install. Here, type the word Full, then press Enter. The console or NPU will prompt you with two windows where you will first confirm that you wish to perform the full install, and then to confirm the software. After this, it will complete the full install process. Because this process is fully reformatting your console's hard drive, you'll be prompted to recalibrate your touchscreens once it reboots. During the boot process, watch for the initial menu that allows you to choose your software mode. Using your console's arrow keys on the keyboard, you can scroll to select either Grandma 1 Compatibility Mode or the Series 2 software. Once highlighted, press Enter. The console will remember this operating system selection and will continue to boot into this mode of software until you change it. 